dealing with was how to get something that was narrow on the edges but had enough volume in the middle to hold those two kits that were going to go inside. So something that's used quite often is a pillow package which has um, this basic shape so that it tapers off at the edges um, and then um, it's narrower in the middle this way but it's higher uh, this way. So um, using this we were able to create a, a form that was a little bit more discreet. It became um, an exploration of um, what orientation would be best, um, what you know, way of opening it would be best, um, and then we started looking at how to organize the information based on the way this unfolded. This one opens vertically, and then the inside panels fold out horizontally. Another way to look at this was to take um, that vertical orientation and turn it on its side. Uh, this one opens a bit like an envelope would, so these two top flaps fold out like that, and then you have a, a wider panel uh, in the middle, essentially, uh, where the other one was a bit longer. Um, so what we were looking at at this point was how does this affect the way we display information, and generally what is more preferable, you know, this, this envelope style or something that was vertical, it looks a little bit more like a gift. We had a lot of different tab closures. You know, we're looking at things like, can we close it with a rubber band and use that rubber band as a sort of um, a messaging tool, something that people would hold on to afterwards? Could we put it in a fabric bag um, to help sort of conceal the, the messaging on the outside initially? Um, things like that. So at this point, uh, we realized that we we're going to have different iterations of this. And what we wanted to do then was start figuring out how to get the information, the instructions that were initially on um, the end cap packaging onto the folded packaging.